Acrylic fibers are synthetic fibers made from a polymer with an average molecular weight of 100,000, about 1,900 monomer units. To be called acrylic in the U.S., the polymer must contain at least 85% acrylonitrile monomer. Typical co-monomers are vinyl acetate or methyl acrylate. DuPont created the first acrylic fibers in 1941 and trademarked them under the name Ulon. Acrylic is also called acrylin fabric. It was first developed in the mid-1940s but was not produced in large quantities until the 1950s. Strong and warm, acrylic fiber is often used for sweaters and tracksuits and as linings for boots and gloves, as well as in furnishing fabrics and carpets. It is manufactured as a filament, then cut into short staple lengths similar to wool hairs, and spun into yarn. Mod acrylic is a modified acrylic fiber that contains at least 35% and at most 85% acrylonitrile monomer. The co-monomers vinyl chloride, vinylidin chloride or vinyl bromide used in mod acrylic give the fiber flame retardant properties. End uses of mod acrylic include faux fur, wigs, hair extensions and protective clothing. Production The polymer is formed by free radical polymerization in aqueous suspension. The fiber is produced by dissolving the polymer in a solvent such as N, N dimethylformamide or aqueous sodium thiocyanate, metering it through a multi hole spinneret and coagulating the resultant filaments in an aqueous solution of the same solvent or evaporating the solvent in a stream of heated inert gas. Washing, stretching, drying, and crimping complete the processing. Acrylic fibers are produced in a range of deniers, typically from 0.9 to 15 as cut staple or as a 500,000 to 1 million filament tow. End users include sweaters, hats, hand knitting yarns, socks, rugs, awnings, boat covers, and upholstery. The fiber is also used as PAN precursor for carbon fiber. Production of acrylic fibers is centered in the Far East, Turkey, India, Mexico, and South America, though a number of European producers still continue to operate including Draylon and Fisip. U.S. producers have ended production, though acrylic toe and staple are still spun into yarns in the USA. Former U.S. brands of acrylic were Acrylon, Krellon, and Orlon. Other brand names that are still in use include Draylon. Textile uses, acrylic is lightweight, soft, and warm, with a wool-like feel. It can also be made to mimic other fibers, such as cotton, when spun on short staple equipment. Some acrylic is extruded in colored or pigmented form. Other is extruded in ecru, otherwise known as natural, raw white, or undyed. Pigmented fiber has highest light fastness. Its fibers are very resilient compared to both other synthetics and natural fibers. Some acrylic is used in clothing as a less expensive alternative to cashmere, due to the similar feeling of the materials. Some acrylic fabrics may fuzz or pill easily. Other fibers and fabrics are designed to minimize pilling. Acrylic takes color well, is washable, and is generally hypoallergenic. End users include socks, hats, gloves, scarves, sweaters, home furnishing fabrics, and awnings. Acrylic is resistant to moths, oils, chemicals, and is very resistant to deterioration from sunlight exposure. Acrylic is the workhorse hand crafting fiber for crafters who knit or crochet. Acrylic yarn may be perceived as cheap, because it is typically priced lower than its natural fiber counterparts, and because it lacks some of their properties, including softness and the ability to felt or take acid dyes. The fiber requires heat to kill, or set the shape of the finished garment, and it isn't as warm as alternatives like wool. Some knitters also complain that the fiber squeaks, when knitted, or that it is painful to knit with because of a lack of give, or stretch in the yarn. On the other hand, it can be useful in certain items, like garments for babies, which require constant washing, because it is machine washable and extremely color fast. Acrylic can irritate the skin of people with dermatological conditions such as eczema. References <laughs>